Hello and welcome back. I hope, I hope you've already joined us uh, for the first hour. Uh, we're now, of course, on Facebook Live. We've got a whole new picture to paint. I'm jealous. I'm just standing watching. Yeah, you should, should be allowed to join, join in. in. Oh, you have to do the talking, though. You have yeah. to keep reminding us what we're doing yeah. and, and why we're doing it. Why we're doing why it. That's the Why we're here with all our daffodils. I yes, know. absolutely. Not just about painting, of course. Um, it is all about Marie Curie. Uh, the daffodils, which, of course, are Matthew has been painting and you've been painting along um, the symbol of Marie Curie the symbol of hope which mm. is wonderful you can still buy your kit if you do want to buy your kit if you want to join in you can watch it all on Rewind um, the details are there at the bottom of your screen all the wchanda.com forward slash daffodil um, have you enjoyed the first hour ladies so yeah, I need much. a little nap though to be quite hard, I, can, I don't often concentrate that hard <laughs> I behave myself so well is this it so if you go quiet in the yes. second hour you might be having a little so nap after do, now, you, now you know the general thing are you going to go, go a bit darker? no I'm going to keep oh, behaving well, myself oh, well, for a okay. change well, I like it I like okay. it I love well, the different it? styles they've got yeah I know so, so different both of you yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's very different from what I do at home, though, yeah. and it's really good for me because mm. I'm learning. Yeah, yeah. and good. that's Super. it. In, yeah. in an hour, yeah. isn't it amazing what you can accomplish? Mm. You know, mm. but I think it's down to a good teacher. Bless you, it's very kind of you. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's very true, hi, Matthew. Right, are we ready? What are we, we are. painting then, Matthew? OK, yeah, so we're going to do this then. So this is like a bit of a, mm. bit of a lake oh scene here. Oh, my goodness, how can I mess beautiful. this one up? Yours and then we've got some, <laughs> got some beautiful uh, daffodils, daffodils in the fog again yeah. focusing on that nice pale pink in the sky. Fair well, then you could fair. use your same sky and go for the vivid red yeah, if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. So it's like a matching set, basically. Well, yeah. That's beautiful. Sunrise, <laughs> sunset. It's You're not allowed to sing. It's <laughs> below 10 seconds. Below 10 seconds. You're not allowed to sing anyway because it hurts my ears. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a go at this, folks. If you're going to yeah. join us and have a go, that'd be, yeah, that's that'd beautiful. Be, be super, yeah? OK, everybody, are you ready? So get your um, get your card, get it onto your board or whatever you're working with, and let's get set. Shall we take, shall yeah. we resume places? On your marks. Yeah. Shall, we, shall we resume places? Yes. OK, folks. Um, I'm worried about my painting getting squashed. Will it will it be okay, on Matthew? It'll be fine. It's nice and dry. It'll yeah, be fine. fine. Yeah. It'll, It'll be, be fine. fine, ladies. It'll be absolutely um, now, sound. We are, of course, on Facebook Live. If you have any questions, um, you know, send us messages. If you're loving it, if you want to say hello to Jenny and Penny, of course, True. then say hello. Um, and obviously, we like want to see what you're creating, so do share pictures. Right, handing over to you. What we're doing? Okay, so to start with, I want to use a bit of masking tape just to pop across oh. like the bottom oh. third. So I want to pass them over to you. Oh. But you need to be creative in removing the... Shall I, shall I be your assistant? Yes, yes. Maybe so you need to be creative place. in what? Removing the stickiness from the mm. tape so you can stick it to your trousers or your apron. On. Right. What, before we so, stick it on? Yeah. So it must so be too sticky, otherwise it'll rip the paper. Yes. Or do this. Or take some of the moisture from the brow and run it over the... And, and how unsticky does it need to be? That should be enough, to be fair. That okay. should be enough. And we'll place this about a third up the picture and press it down. OK? OK. So, Ooh. for the people watching this back at home as well, the top edge of that is, is going to be the sort of line of distant trees. So it means we can keep all the bottom nice and light, ready for working, yeah? Have we got a picture of this one, or oh are we God, just absolutely... Yeah, it's kind of in your mind. If you close your eyes <laughs> <All right. laughs> and imagine... Can Leonie, you didn't can give I... me a long enough piece yes, of tape. We have... Oh, well, I'll this sort is it. A, it's the special edition one-off. There you go. Oh, special minute, edition so. one-off, ladies. Yeah. If I put it here, can you both see it? Yeah. Yes. yes. Thanks. There you go, beautiful. Yeah, let yeah, me get you some more tape. Can we have some more tape? No, it's OK. I've. Are you sorted? Yes, I'm being very good. You see, I'm still being very good. It hasn't worn off yet. Gosh. <laughs> Just make sure you press it down nice and well across the top edge. Okay. Yeah, me. okay um, exactly the same as before, folks. Clean your brush and then basically wet your paper down to the tape. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Down to the tape. So wet it all. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, she um, hadn't cleaned. I hadn't cleaned my brush. Uh oh. What colour uh -oh, is it gone? Jungle. Have you I've got some grey sky I've gone green sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. It's okay. Nice and clean and then wet it all. It'll just wash out, Jenny, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it'll... Panic over. It'll come out in wash. Don't forget, hey! So just, <laughs> Boom. Just give it a... We're very of northern today, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are, Pop yeah. Jenny, where are you originally from? Uh, Nottinghamshire. Is that...? And then, and then the mid... Really, the Midlands. Midlands. The Midlands. The well, lovely, lovely Midlands. Are you, indeed? Mm, sort of Mansfield way. Ah, yeah, well, Mansfield. I'm eastward. Yeah. Not, eastward I'm yeah, eastward, so. yes. Are you We're almost neighbours. I'm, um, Lancashire. Um, I'm Lancashire. 
uh, Rosendale, Rosendale Valley. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Spent many a yeah, many a happy time in our Blackpool. Mm. Yeah. Well, and I'm just down the road from Black. Well, my mum is now. It's it's a lovely area, isn't it? Right oh, there. I I, li I like visiting. I'm a London girl, you know. Yeah. By by choice yeah. now, but I love going. Nice back. hills. Oh, Lo I do like a hill. All the hills. London, oh, I do London like a hills. hills. I'm not talking about London Hills, you turn it. I'm talking about the hills of Nottingham. I'm on a really high hill in London, which is why I can't get a bike, because it would kill me. Yeah. Get electric one. Shooter's Hill. I used to go Shooter's Hill. I know that one. That's a big hill. It was a very big hill, wasn't it? Fabulous hills in London. He's doing pink. Sorry. I am. Yeah. I'm but pale. But it's up to you. You can be as strong as you like with this, but basically, when you paint a sky, you sort of like you conduct an orchestra, so you sort of so do this sort of thing. So long right. strokes. A big stroke, yeah. Fabulous. All the way across. And so let it go. Yeah. So none is because I don't know about well, obviously when you're teaching, do you find that people sort of like you know like do that. them teeny tiny? Yeah. 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 But, but for skies, big bold uh, strokes into the water. So it all nicely flows. And that's that really nice red. Obviously, yeah, natural red, it yeah. can be uh, blended out as much as you want, or you can be going in heavy. Oh, it's just thunderstorm. It was a dark and stormy dark. night where my daffodils were in. <laughs> and then, and then, I'm surprised your daffodils <laughs> stood. <laughs> my <laughs> daffodils are going to be barely making it through the <laughs> stormy night. There'll be one petal left between them all. Yeah. <laughs> and then with a nice clean brush, we are going to put the blue across the top, but you kind of like fill the paper, but then you sort of... Oh, I thought you were doing pink down. right to the top. Oops. The blue will work in with it and give you a oh, nice okay. purple. Yeah, Lovely. Good. good. So we're, we're, we're still orchestrating, we're orchestrating yes. the blue. Yes. yes. Orchestrating so that bring the blue. blue down into the pinky red yeah. or the reddy red, and then it kind of all mixes it. I'm curious, Penny, I need to have a look at yours. I need to see how this is coming. Oh, that's powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you should kind of put a good strong blue horizontally across the top. This is kind of like at 6 p.m. This is like probably about <laughs> quarter to nine-ish. I so think it's, it's the morning, but it's a after. very, it's a very... Red sky at night, was it? Shepherd's, Shepherd's delight. delight, yeah. There you go. yeah. Red sky at morning. morning. Shepherd's warning. Global warming. <laughs> Awkward. How do we get I mean, this white, Matthew? Do, how do we get white the clouds? About? <laughs> they were just left. Really. I didn't leave! What? But what if you leaving? wanted to put... Oh, panic. Can I lift? But, but if you wanted to put some clouds in, if you take a little piece of tissue, you can just sort of tap. I'm tapping. And it'll put some little, little bits of light in. Yeah? Whatever you, you want to do that while it's wet, though, don't you? Yeah. yeah. It only comes off while it's a bit damp. But it doesn't matter. Oh, she's off. You Look could, at that. That's a good cloudage. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, nice, mm. very nice. Cloud, get you, feel, oh, look at you doing clouds. clouds. Are we you know supposed to be doing clouds? Have you done clouding before? The I've cloud. watched him before. Oh, there you the go. Oh, that's right. really I'm good. I'm like a swat. You <laughs> are. <laughs> You're so like swat. Do you know what happens like to swats? Like I've, I've never been a swat. Sponge, <laughs> like I've never been a swat before. <laughs> you know why you've got your tissue in your hand? Yes. If you've got yes, like a big sort of build up of water at the masking tape, just wipe that off. I've just done that. Mm. Yeah. She knows before, what she's, she she's, knows what she's doing. Her. She's been watching me before. Mm. Oh, don't like that. Taking notes. She's been taking she notes. Been taking notes. Let's um, mix a. <laughs> very, <laughs> let's mix mix a very strong orange and blue together. Orange you know, and blue together. Do you know what we got? We got a couple of hundred people. There's a, a, a couple of hundred people watching us on Facebook. How marvellous. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. It's absolutely wonderful to have your company. What, what are Stay we doing again? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Go on. we're still here. Yes. Yes. Let's yeah. wait for the big what was finale. it again? A, a yellow and the blue? So it's the it? We're making the blue green. To make a green again. And okay. basically, we're going to use uh, the masking tape as an edge and we're going to sort of twist it. Can we see this? We're going to wiggle and twist and. So twisting. Move along. But if you make it higher, as you get towards the sides oh, of the I picture, see what you, mean. Okay. you kind of create like a sense of depth. And because this is still wet, it's blurring nicely. Oh. Yes. Mm. Now, if it's not still wet, folks, and there's a good chance it won't be, is yours still wet, Penny? Yeah. Is it, is it spreading? Mine's seeping in is a marvellous way, yeah. Well, if it's seeping too much, make your paint thicker. If it's okay. not seeping enough, 
they make your paint a little bit thinner. Okay. And so it kind of works both ways. Still under control there. Yeah. The the biggest problem with watercolor is the water, really. Yeah. And Off once you way. learn how to <laughs> once you learn how to handle it, you've cracked it basically. Let's pop a little bit more blue into the green and let's make it a little bit stronger. At the base? At the base, oh, yeah. yeah. Pop the shadows in. She knows so what she's doing, doesn't she? So that's just a darker blue and a tiny this bit of that a, green. A touch more blue, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Nice. Fabulous. It's like bonfire night over there. <laughs> now I'm just going to very... <laughs> I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm just gonna... these daffodils, if they're not burnt to a frazzle, <laughs> they're drowning in this <laughs> terrible apocalyptic storm that's happening. Is, it, is this the future <laughs> as we see it? <laughs> yeah, I think pretty much. This, this pretty is pretty much. post-Brexit, isn't it, Gang? Did, did you ever see... Oh, oh, you, know, you, know, you know Wally? You know, that's what else can't we like that. Shall we do it? <laughs> no, I'm on joking. Oh, boss. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I'll very carefully remove the tape as well, nice Ooh. and steady, just slowly, Ooh. as though you're taking Ooh. it off somebody's hair. Do you not think it, mine's a bit wet? Should I let it dry a bit? Oh, well, I think it's probably all right, to be fair. That's okay. a little well, no, that's fine, yeah, just Look. very, very loose. Yeah, that's it. Be on your head, nice look at that. Perfect. That's nice clouds. beautiful. Nice clouds. Well I could put some white paint on this, put a nice lightning bolt coming through that way. Shut up. A nice, nice. Right, we just gently take nice it out. Yeah. Sky on, work Benny. Great. Super. The reveal. I like this bit. I like. I love that. this. I because I so that hard. trick of taking some of the sticky off the tape mm. is so clever. Stops because, it ripping, don't it? Yeah, because mm. otherwise it would spoil the texture. This paper that you get in the packs for the Marie Curie absolutely uh, charity. Yeah, the paper is. Fabulous! It is good stuff. This is and with lovely. watercolor, that's sorry, I'm I'm getting overly excited and involved here. But the quality of the water, of the paper is quite important mm. for it watercolor, is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the most important thing. Is the paper without question? It really is. Because if you're going on smooth paper, it gets all slidey. Anyway, and yeah, it goes and all wavy and, well, and yeah, rips yeah. and everything like that. I mean, at this stage, if you look at this, you could almost kind of say you've almost got uh, the startings of a winter scene. So if you're doing something different, you can kind of see snow in a way, can't yeah. you? Mm. Yeah, That's how absolutely. you'd paint snow like that, put the tape on. But obviously, we don't get green trees in the winter and we don't get daffodils doing so. Absolutely. We're going to paint in -like. a nice lake here, OK? So once you've took your tape off, if you clean your brush and if you wet the actual bottom section, again, um, making sure that you don't go too much over the edge of the green trees because they're still a bit damp. Yeah. But we'll just basically work over them and work up to them, should I say. But again, I'm sort of moving the head, making sure I've not missed any bits. Um, you know the routine now for wetting yeah. the paper, folks. And we are just talking about the paper. It's designed to hold water. This is a cotton paper, isn't it? It is, yeah. That's its 100% mm. job, is to hold water. And the wonderful thing is, um, your Marie Curie kit, it's got good quality products in that Matthew brings us time after time, like the good quality cotton paper, like that fantastic brush, the paints as well. Uh, remember, all the profits are going to Marie Curie, only £5 as well. You can still buy that kit, please buy that kit. Um, you can watch both mm. classes on Rewind, um, so if you're getting it, maybe you're going to get it for a friend. Maybe you've enjoyed this, but you want another go, get another kit, just £5. We have got loads of people watching us. Um, so Deborah's watching. Good afternoon, Deborah. Veronica's watching. Uh, we've also got Sue. Who else? Anna's watching. We're not going to read out all 200 and odd. Uh, we've got <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Could be quite a long list. Um, oh. Laws, well, thank you ever so much. Um, obviously, we'd love your comments, but even more, we want to see what you've been painting. Yes. Yeah. Have you gone too. for? Have you gone for gentle, or have you gone for yeah, the end of the world? <laughs> <laughs> Matthew's racing ahead, and I'm getting left oh, behind. No. All it is, Go on, uh, because it's damp. <laughs> obviously, it wants to stay damp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've the same red. Yeah. The same. Um, consistency of red goes at the top half of the water okay so just okay it's nice and strong half. just the top half yeah right and then with a clean brush the same consistency of blue goes across the bottom so it's your reflection probably make it a little bit lighter than the sky <laughs> so you can see the daffodils <laughs> Do you know what the good thing is? So I've got reflections already because everything's leaked. Excellent. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I know, but it's because it's reflecting. Happy I'm glad accident. I didn't do it, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that works. It's good. I like it. 
So the blue goes right at the bottom, basically. And you do horizontal strokes and you work it up until it disappears into the paint. And you cut off the page, don't you? You do. You're like, when you do it, you're allowing your brush to sweep off and that gives you that natural sweep, doesn't yeah, it's, it? Yeah, it's one of the few things that is better to stand up because you get more of a natural mm. flow to your thing, to your brush. Arm. Around. That's what it is, the brush. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and you've gone that, a bit that. darker blue in the middle. To Not necessarily, that just kind of happened really. Oh, okay. As right. long as it's darker at the bottom and you sort of take it up. Jenny, that looks fab. Okay. That's brilliant, yeah, it's great. Brilliant. Finished. <laughs> well done. <laughs> happy now that now, green happy. that we did the trees with, have yeah. you got some of that left? Yeah. The greeny stuff. If you mix that into your brush and basically if you take the piece of kitchen paper and just sort of tap off the excess green on the tissue there make use of the brush and i'm actually going to rest on the paper now like i'm drawing with it yeah. and i'm going to pop in a little bit of reflection now penny you've kind of got this anyway so you're okay you can chill out a little bit on this if yeah, you want to. Well, well, a little, bit, a little of a, bit of so they're lines yeah, little horizontal lines. You can see the reflection there, can't you? Yeah. Make use of the tip of the brush because, again, it's a beautiful uh, pointed brush here. Um, so I'm, I'm actually making use of this. <laughs> just said about I want to get involved. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It's rubbish just standing watching. <laughs> no, it isn't. I mean, I'm having a lot of time. No, I definitely You've do had a practice not. now. Yeah, I've had a practice, are. but no. So that just creates that nice reflection, don't that's it? That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, that looks so effective. And I want to see how you two are getting on, and that's a good time to let this dry, actually, as well. well. Amazing. Cool. Let's have a little let's look. Let's have a little, Can we both have, have a wonder? Let's have a nosey. Yeah, lovely. Can we both have a wonder? That reflection works well. Good. Amazing. What you could do on yours, if, if this is still damp, is if you squeeze the brush through the fingers, like this, yeah. and actually lay it flat, it'll put some little highlights, like almost oh, ripples. Okay. So what do, sorry, hold on a second, do so it again. So squeeze it through your squeeze fingers. Squeeze it through my fingers. Yeah. Hold yeah. it flat and just run it across horizontally and it removes some of the colours. Oh, Make sure you give it a good squeeze though, so it's almost gone flat like this. So what? Oh, properly. So that's it, yeah, it there you go. Right, and then on and the then side? Just drag it over. What, just put with the, on the corner? Or on the flat like edge of the brush, almost lay the brush flat to the paper. Yeah. Like that, that way? Yeah. That's it. Okay. That's it. I think, I think the trees are a bit low. Could I do a light? If we change the direction to that way now, yeah. so it's more of a sort of vertical. Oh, OK. A bit thinner line. That's it, beautiful. Oh. And every, oh. every time you squeeze the brush, it recharges it. Um, I would like the trees to go a little bit higher. Can I do an ochre kind of shadow behind and very light ochre? For the actual trees themselves? Yeah, see there, they're a bit so higher. So what you can do here is you could mix some more of the greeny colour yeah. from the two. Yeah. But a good tip, because it's almost dry, is to always tap off the excess. Yeah. If I do a little bit just to show you, you can almost yeah. just sort of do this. Yeah. Although you're sort of tapping the edge of the brush. But I'd only focus on the two sides. Because I love this mist you've got in the middle. Yeah, I just felt that the trees were a bit low, but don't worry, I'm not going. I won't. <laughs> but that way it's nice. <laughs> is this where the rebellion st yeah. starts yeah, to kick oh, in? Oh, is, is she getting rebellious <laughs> now? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah it's uh, starting. No. It's like a little bit. <laughs> Here of we go. Yeah, like a bit of a tap on the edge, and you can actually change the shape of the trees, Louise. So that gives it a texture as well. It does it? give a texture, yeah. Which is why watercolor paper's got that texture to it, yeah. so you can make yeah. use of it. Beautiful. Lovely. Right. Okay. I think we can have some birds on this one, don't we? <gasps> I think birds are a monster. Birds are going to be dashed yeah, to death on my storm. Big, you big, great big crows. <laughs> you know, we're going to put some bearded chuffs on it. Uh, I'd love a bearded chuffs. chuff on this. Yes. Who are you calling, do, calling a bearded chuff? Do you know do what? A... I'd like a hobby hawk because they all look like they're wearing yellow plus fours, don't they, we'll hobby hawks? Yeah, we'll Little shaggy on, yellow yeah. plus fours. And they you always stand that. like they're going, look at me and my plus fours. Because they do. They're got, strutters. Yeah, they're strutters and they've got big yellow, <laughs> where, where big yellow knickerbockers on. Do this with their shoulders. Is that crows? Oh, that's a crow. Oh, yeah, that's a crow. Yeah, that's Are you having that? Are you having the crows? That is. Why did the rook cross the road? Because it was. Wanted to. <laughs> Don't mess about <laughs> with a rook. You could always go for the pterodactyls. I oh, mean, you know, there's, yeah. there's always that maybe this is Maybe this is a prehistoric scene. <laughs> yeah. It's just as a, about the time when the meteor was just about to hit. <laughs> Primordial or, soup. Or just <laughs> after. <laughs> just after, maybe. Are we birding, then? Chuffs, yes. Oh, no, are, we doing, <laughs> are we going straight in with the birds? Yeah. I think so. Wow. So basically, I, I'm kind of using a bit of the blue mixed with a bit of the orange, and it kind of goes like a dark bluey greeny stuff. Beautiful. Okay, 
And what we are going to be doing here is a good advice is to practice on the board first. Now if I do a large one so the folks at home can see, you kind of put one wing, you put the underbelly, which is like a little curve, leave a gap and put the other wing on, and it's the shadow that casts oh. underneath, if that makes sense. Charlotte yeah. was very good at these, wasn't he? It was, he was it a legend was. at these. So you do a... So it's sort of one wing here, put the shadow underneath, Okay. Leave a gap and do another one. And it's okay. like, uh, imagine the ducks or the swans All flying right. over that I'm kind of thing. Mine is, it's going to be a giant pterodactyl. <laughs> Not as big as that, though, obviously, because there will be pterodactyls then. Oh, yeah. this Tiny. is a scary bit. And you don't see many bearded pterodactyls, do you? So. I don't know, really. Look at Have that. you not seen Jurassic Park? And other dinosaur films? <laughs> yeah, other dinosaur <laughs> films are available. Well done. <laughs> Boom, all that telly experience. Obviously, with your, your little birdies, you have to wait for it to, to dry, otherwise, yeah. would they just slip down your page? They go a bit furry. Mm -hmm. Furry Fairly birds. So, yeah. definite bearded chuff. These are kind of swansy, maybe, I've got, to me. I've got a flock of barnacle geese. So a lot. You're good with birds, don't you? Oh, you know your birds. Oh, well, I'm a bit Boom. of a birder on the sly. I've got really good binoculars. That's Canadian, Canadian geese. That's what, That's what these are, Canadian geese. Oh, yeah. They're good. I've just got generic birds. <laughs> Did you not go for your crows? <laughs> so look sparrows. Look sparrows. Oh, yeah. I think we should have a prize for the yeah. best bird. Yeah. Maybe, maybe when the you see bird bird people's birds. There we go. The best bird. What are you giving away? Um, a you used can do watercolour palette by a professional artist. <laughs> they've got big beaks, they've got long beaks, haven't they? With signs. Oh, signs, yeah. Signed. Signed. Do a curlew. Signed. She wants me to spoil my painting by doing a curlew with a great big nosy beak. Oh, I would love a curlew. <laughs> that's jealousy, that's what that is. Do so you do bird so paintings do it. as well? Can we have another class with bird paintings? Yes, could do I do a red paint kite. quite a lot of birds. Can we come oh, back yes. every week? Well, you get Let's lots of red kites around here. I think you should come back every single week. That'd be fabulous. We could do a red... I think Marie Curie would be really happy about that as well, wouldn't they? A new kit every single week. What? And all my <laughs> relatives would have Christmas and birthday presents forever. <laughs> if you, yeah, you they would now, love this, they wouldn't they? They'd be like, oh, good. My brother's face. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, oh, well, another. <laughs> super, we'll definitely yeah, put yeah. it up in the house. It's just what I always wanted. <laughs> uh, a bearded chuff. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Right, oh, where are we up to? Flowers. Flowers, are you yes. ready for the dance? Oh, how's, yeah. it, how's your water doing? Does it feel dry, maybe, at the bottom? Yeah, it's pretty dry. Yeah. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll paint some little miniature daffodils then, which kind of start off with a little sort of horizontal blob wow. with the orange. And then like little star shapes at the back for the petals. Hold on, know. I might have to come and have a yeah, close yeah, look yeah, at yeah, this. Hold on. Come right. and have a look. Right. So it's, the, not even wearing it's the groupings of. So you pop in your yeah, yeah. lap piece and you sort of do like one, two, three, four. And then okay. you surround it with do a thing and then lots one, two, of little three, four. dots like this. So it's a collection of, okay. uh, not just the other it's one. It's a yeah. host of golden It's daffodils. a host of. It is. I yes. think someone wrote a poem about that once. They I think did. They probably did, yeah. So it's a nice way of sort of building up. Again, oh, that's beautiful. the orange adds to the atmosphere, don't it? Yeah. But yeah. Uh, for the people that, uh, that are painting along, the people that paint along at home, folks, what you need to be doing is doing loads of these. Not just a couple, keep going. Right. And it's not just the individual daffodils, just a few little spots and dots like this around. And it really builds it up. And we can see on the finished picture, which we've got here, how I've done them taller at the two sides as well. That really sort of adds to the picture, in my opinion. It frames it almost, doesn't it, when it you bring does. those in? Yeah, that looks really effective. And it's the different sizes and also the different um, the different depth of your paint because you've let some of them go a lot paler, haven't you? Yeah. Excuse and me, you everyone. Can, you, can, you can... Oh, that's a good shot, that. You can uh, dig nice and deep into the orange and you can really make it nice and thick. Uh, of course, you can dilute you it as well. It. But My really, just get busy kind of spotting these things in, you know, and don't be afraid. To do some larger ones, some smaller ones, obviously larger being closer to us and so on. Yeah, that looks really effective. Because I'm feeling as though you're being a bit left out there and I think you could do, Can I you could do some of these. Right. Do you need so to come on this side, are you okay? I'm left handed. Oh, perfect then. Like so, a, so, so. Like Lennon and McCartney, team effort. Right. Team effort. So what? So if you do the little sort of, you like a little horizontal bit first. Mm. And put like a star at the back of it. 
There we go. That's mm, it, lovely. A little star's going to be dodgy. I suppose with this, though, you don't need to be that perfect. It's not going to be precise. Uh, I mean, the thing is that... Mine look like a flock of goldfish. I want to see how you two are getting on, actually. Like. My paper's a bit... And they rained from the sky. Yeah, he's in charge. Yeah. Of there, so. <laughs> oh, lovely, yeah. Just so try and be a bit more, you know, random with how you place them. I and mean, you can see, look, you know, you've got some nice tall ones here. Look, they're all oh, going good nice. one in. Right Sorry. up to the water. You know, you can do some higher ones. And some of them are just dots. A collection of, uh, of daffodils. I think I might be getting carried away with the big ones. That's good. We could do some big ones up there, to be fair. Hmm. Mine are all facing the same way as well. Yes, yeah, so you go for it. Oh. But mind you, you know what we need, don't you, here, for the a first time on national wind. television, <laughs> on Facebook, that is, yeah. we're going to use a team effort here. Oh. We're going to work on this. Oh, what, what's that? A team of goldfish? I've got, I've got. You've got a troubling of goldfish. A, a troubling of goldfish? Is that what it's called? Oh, fabulous, oh, a team of goldfish. Nice. Is that true? Yeah. Troubling, a troubling mm. of goldfish. Because that's we've got a goldfish, troubling. Mm. What's a group of artists called? A palette. Mm, no, nice. yeah. actually, oh, yeah. that oh. but but it sounds, sounds quite good. good. It does sound quite good, actually. I believe that. I believe that. How, How much time have we got left? I've no idea. I've gone quiet because I'm painting. Um, it's a, oh well, this one because it's Facebook Live. Whenever we're done, so. Uh -huh. As and when. So, yeah. So about four hours then? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Not really. Not yeah, really. no. no, no. Not um, really. However, people do want you to come back every week. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, it, this is it. It started I'm, a bit I'm of a right. thing. The trouble is that my, my blood sugar levels are dropping now. <laughs> really? Do you, now, what kind of biscuit do you favour? Is it? Because uh, I'm I've not a biscuit girl. I oh, don't what is what do you like? Then. I know. She doesn't eat chocolate. Like she doesn't chocolate. eat. No. What's your snacks then? Um, are you crisps. Nuts? I'm nut, nuts, crisps, cheese. Mm. Do you know, a slice of ham would be nice. <laughs> Just slice of ham. Half a pork pie. I'm yeah. a savoury girl. <laughs> Garibaldi biscuit. Well, like a pie. <laughs> oh, I love a, a pie. A sneaky little pie. A pie and some mushy peas. Let's oh, get some in. Oh, gosh, I love mushy peas. Chips and curry and sauce. Gravy. Oh, yeah. Pickled onion. Um, oh. What about half and half? Oh, half, half and half. Rice, half half and half, yes, half and exactly. Half. Maybe a wally on the side. What's a wally? Big, big pickled dill cucumber. Oh, oh, I love a, I What love about a pickled pickle. eggs? Do you like pickled eggs? I love eggs? a pickled oh, egg, pickle yeah. Eggs. Pickled, pickled egg. onions, and that's what oh, I think we should end. What about scraps when you go to chip shop? Mm. Scraps. Mm. There comes a time when the scraps. lady has to give up Are you a fan of scraps? Yeah, I think so. Well, I, I, I don't think that's my... Are we done? There seems to be quite a lot in there. I think so. It's quite pretty, that, isn't it? It works. Yeah, yeah it's good. I, know, I want some stalks on my uh, yes. Yes. dress. We're going to put some stalks on very shortly. And we started a thing. We're also going to pop in. I'm some wondering whether I should have a flying little fox. bits of detail. Sorry, Emily, I've no idea what you just said to me. You what, love? <laughs> um, okay, so people are saying, can they watch this later? Can we watch this later, Emily? Um, if you go onto the Achanda Facebook page and there's a, a little way, of course, because it's going to be posted on there, uh, so you will be able to watch it later as a video. Um, and the previous show is going to be on Achanda Proper, our website, and that's going to be on Rewind. So you will be able to watch them both afterwards. Yay. Super. That's you know what we need job. to do now, don't you? Give this thing a very quick dry off. Amazing. A bit drier. Oh, you've got a mic dodgy heat gun, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, this is yours, apparently. I thought so. Yeah. I could tell because it's filthy. Yeah. <laughs> um, if someone hasn't got a heat gun at home, are they OK just to use a hairdryer? Hairdryers are fine, yeah. Wonderful. Just don't put it actually touching the paper because it can make the uh, hair dryer overheat. Ah, okay. So leave a gap between it. It needs to get the air in, basically. Okay. Um, but yeah, I use hair dryers, but we don't like to use them much in the studio because they're too noisy. Yeah, they basically. are. Yeah, so, yeah. Our heat guns so work perfectly. So that is nice and dry. Are we nice How's and dry over looking, here? ladies? Mm. Go oh, on a nosy too. Uh, mine are a bit too prissy. Uh, they don't make sense until I get this some stalks. Kind of oh, that's so pretty. Oh, yours is so pretty. It's, it's so pretty. It's Do you know what? That's a Mother's Day card. That is. My mother will say to me, well, that's the first piece of work you've done I quite like. I oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My mum will do her usual thing. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> kind of clothing. Interesting. <laughs> 
Interesting. Uh, <laughs> try to kick, one more try to kick mine over. <laughs> Are we green stalking? We're green stalking and we're going to darken the inside of the trumpets as well. Oh, oh wow. good. Got to do that like you're ready. But it needs yeah. to be dry before we do that. Oh, so. okay. Well, I've got to dry mine then because mine's, your, as, um, mine's as wet swimming. as a wet thing. Yeah. Dry. Well, my goldfish. Your goldfish they're they're are goldfish. Are flapping in the breeze. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, <laughs> there is. A, oh, oh, okay. So, on. Oh, this is very interesting. So, on hachanda.com forward slash daffodil page, um, you actually can see both of the shows. So that's both the live one um, that we've we've done, obviously, on Hachanda and the Facebook one. So you'll be able to watch both of those live. Um, obviously, while the ladies are drying, if you want to get hold of this kit and then watch them both live, maybe you are going to buy it for a friend. Maybe you want to have another go at this and you want to watch Matthew again. Uh, please get hold of them kits. Remember, um, all the profits are going to Marie Curie, a fantastic charity, um, a charity that's there for people um, with terminal illness. But it's not just the, the people, obviously, uh, the patients, but it's all the family as well. So they're to offer support, whether it be the hospice, whether it be people's homes, whether it be actually taking somebody out. So um, giving someone lots of time and care. The nurses are incredible. They know what they're doing. They're able to administer the medication as well that's required. So it's a really um, incredible charity um, helping so many people. Now, we have got the kit. If you do want to get hold of that kit, um, this is what's in it. I'm going to get it right this time. So what you will receive, I'll go close. So you're getting your guide and masterclass with expert Matthew Palmer. You're getting a set of, of paints oh, on a watercolour dot card palette. You've got two sheets of your high quality watercolour art card. You're also getting your brush, which is a number six. And then you're getting your artist quality mounts. Uh, good quality kits for just five pounds. And obviously the profits all go to Marie Curie water out in my mind right then you do not you can order it on agenda.com forward slash daffodil are we dry we are you know, it's a really good idea for a present you know sometimes mm. you mm. you, you, uh, you yeah. give money to a charity on behalf yes. of someone for a christmas present or birthday present yeah. now this you're giving to a charity but you are also getting something back which yeah. is quite clever yeah and then you can create something again that you can give back it's a gift that keeps on giving gift in the first place. Yeah. And you get that joy of actually taking time out, just time out of everything that's going on to relax and create something wonderful. Yeah. However it turns out, it doesn't matter. It's that space and time, isn't it? And I it? think there are a lot of people at the moment, you know, who aren't particularly well, if it's physically or mentally or whatever. Mm -hmm. and we, doing something like this, as you say, taking a little bit of time out, being quiet, being calm, letting your anxiety go, this really yeah. helpful oh yeah definitely yeah it's that escapism isn't it yeah yeah and it's so nice that sense of achievement mm. at the end of it mm. are we ready sorry it's a yeah you're waiting it's a yeah. cracking idea yeah. to put it's this a brilliant thing. idea yeah it's great Get it and it's nice because you know you get in the skills as well because it's not only getting the brushes the paints etc but you also get in access to that master class mm. yeah. you can watch back and just break down what you've learned over these yeah. two episodes you know the skies you know, the trees, the flowers, the shadows, it's, it's all chops. useful skills. And every picture I do, it's got the same things over and over again. So, yeah, can't go wrong, really, can you? Can't, can't go, wrong. go wrong. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Matthew. We're going to put a little bit of detail, a bit of darkness inside the um, uh, daffodil uh, trumpets, we called them, didn't we? So it's a nice thick orange and a tiny bit of the blue and a tiny bit of the red, but focus mainly on the orange, OK? So it's making like a like a like a burnt sort of brownie colour. So it's the orange spot of blue and a spot of red, basically. And what you do basically is you just put like a little sort of dot um, at the tip of the flowers, just randomly, basically, every so okay. often. And it's giving you a little bit of detail, of course. And it helps to make them look a little bit more, so you can see in them. Yeah. That's really effective. Yeah. Well, remember, it's all about, it's the collection of, it's not just the odd one or two, it's, it's painting lots of them, and even just little tiny dots help us to give yeah. that, you know, that feeling of... Um, it's just the impression of it, isn't it? It is, and sometimes that's all painting is, it's an impression of that makes you think about, you know, daffodils and flowers. Yeah. Um, and like we said on the previous picture, you know, it's, it's popping the darkness inside 
that is really quite important. Super. That looks fabulous. That's effective, isn't it? That? Yeah, cool. yeah. I'm it's really effective. Like that. I want to use the same colour as well, <clears throat> just to sort of put a few little sort of spots and dots along the water line, okay. the sort of browny colour. Does that? What does that do? It just kind of sharpens the edge up a little bit, and I'm basically dotting. You can see I'm putting little spots and dots around. Yeah. You can pop a few inside the tree as well. I know it's quite hard to probably see this, folks, if you're watching it back, but I'm using the same colour and I'm working into the trees to put a little bit of sort of texture, and it's a the few so dots. So it's that yellow, it's the yellow that you've just done with the daffodils, is it? Is that the colour? It you is. look like you're using yeah. every colour now. Yeah, yeah it's <laughs> all there, isn't it? So it's orange and blue and a bit of red, basically. Okay. It's all three. You're not trunking the trees, are you, Matthew? Um, I'm, yes. In a second we will actually, but what I want to do first is just put little sort of dots. With it being a summery tree, you yeah. don't see many branches and, and things really, um, especially at this distance. But the main thing is to sort of sharpen the edge with little dots. Got you. Does, that, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I want to say that, yeah? Mm. And then kind of work up into the trees with the same dotty Technique. So it's more, again, rather than them straight, definite lines, it's more of a, a soft impression of the... It's like a stipple but with the tip yeah. of the brush, yeah. And it helps the trees look a little bit more, like they've got more shadows. Fine. But if you, th if you talk about the scary word that no one likes, composition, and um, it helps to make it taller on yeah. the two sides, it creates depth in the centre. Yeah, yeah. And it draws your eye in. Sorry, everybody, it? sorry, it's crashing. So we can see we're putting little bits of spots around here yes. and putting a few little dots up and down inside. Yes. So texture, texture, texture. Uh, yes. Texture, Jenny. Texture. A bit of shape, bit of texture, absolutely. That looks really good. Yeah, that looks really beautiful. And of course, it's exactly the same colour that's used on the inside of the, uh, the daffodils the as well, which is really nice. Perfect. Okay. Look at that. Yeah, that looks really cool. Very soft and delicate. Yeah. I've got a bit heavy handed. Oh, I can't wait to see everybody's at home as well. Yeah, make sure people send them in. We'd mm. love to see mm. them. Well, be on the Facebook. Do, when you're finished, pop all your photos on Facebook, please. And I will actually go and have a nose of this time because I'm rubbish. There's been loads. And um, thank you ever so much, everybody. Thank you for joining in. I know you've absolutely loved it. I know Marie Curie is so, so pleased. Um, and this is something different for them as well. I know it's, um, it's been really well received by all of us. Super. What's next? Are you happy, ladies? Yeah. A bit heavy yeah. handed on one side. Does it matter? Yes. No. Or does it? <laughs> I'll get over <laughs> it. I'll balance get over it. it. Can you balance it? I'm doing some on the I'll other side. I'll balance it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that where, is that where it goes like, you know, yeah. one, one's well heavy and then you try and balance it and then before you know it, everything's gone heavy? Yeah, before you know it, you turn into a, a night scene. That's fabulous. Can, like mine. Can we just? Can we just? <laughs> Uh, our Diane Ascent. See, Diane. Oh, that is lovely. Lovely, Diane. Lovely. lovely. Very good. Diane, beautiful. Oh, she's and finished off the daffodils. Diane's I got think. a little daffodil there. That's nice. Perfect. Loving it, Diane. Thank you. Um, we do want to see all those pics. Keep sharing. That's wonderful. Thank you, Diane. Okay. Right. Right. We're getting there, aren't we? We're nearly in the end. We need to put a bit of depth in the water, some drop. Um, and for this, it's the grey colour that we used on the last picture. So it's the blue into the orange, if you remember. Okay. So it goes green and put a tiny bit of red. So you get the sort of grey colour. Can we see that? What's this for again? This is for creating the little depth in the water, like a uh, reflection okay. effect. And this is a very nice technique to, uh, to, to do. Yeah, it is, because whenever you look at anything with water, it's got that bit of drop to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And the thing with this is, it's something to practice again, like I say, on your neighbour's picture. So swap pictures for a minute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or just at the side, maybe, at the board. Okay. And um, basically, if you take a bit of tissue and once you've picked the colour up, wipe it off at both sides of the brush. So if okay. you turn the brush over. Do you want the, the paint quite dense? It's quite a strong colour, yeah. Right, and yeah. it's like a bluey kind of grey colour yeah. that we're doing. Then what do we do? So you, You've picked so it up and you've tapped off the excess on the tissue. Yeah. And you pinch your brush at the base so it goes spiky. Can we see the spiky brush? Right, yeah. Ah. Now it's the kind of thing that you stand 
directly in front of uh -huh. and you drag down lines. Now for me, because I'm used to painting here on the side, I want to turn my board this way, okay? Right. I want to use the spiky brush and I want to put these lines from the base of the trees, very dry brush, so on the tissue first, coming straight down. Now these are very subtle things, okay? Oh, but they make a difference, don't they? But it really gives a sense yeah. of depth in water. That is fabulous. Now, if I turn this the right way, can you see these lines that come down there? See yeah. those? Less is more, folks, but it, just at the back of your mind, something happens yeah. that tells you that it's a reflection. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you, you sort of decide what it is, don't you? That's a really good. It's a brilliant way of using that brush as well, because it's obviously something I wouldn't have thought of, sort of making it that feathery. It sort of stays in shape, don't it? You know. Yeah. It's, sort of it's a really good kit, isn't it, for a fiver? It is. Yeah. It dries out it's quite quickly. I've, uh, my, I think I've dried it out a bit too quickly. Mm. So the, the paint. Just add a. Just add a tiny little bit of water to the colour. In your palette. And it'll reactivate it again. But these lines, even because if you pinch your brush, it's obviously gone flat. But if you turn yeah. it on the side, it's now a nice pointy one, and we can put some finer ones in the middle. Oh, yeah. If I turn it back, you can see how that's created depth. That looks so good. That's amazing. And that makes such a difference, don't yeah. you? That? Yeah. Mm. Simple little thing. Yeah, that looks really effective. We've got about five ish minutes, is that okay? Yeah, we can do this in five ish minutes. Are we stalking? Stalk. When stalking. you say five yeah. ish, is that I mean the, the between the five and Oh, I've got to do the stalks or the daffs, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, which is where we're going to wrap up at, basically, folks. So if we uh, get a nice bit of orange, nice and thick, and a bit of blue, and then we've got that nice kind of warm, deep green colour. Beautiful. But again, a good tip is to sort of twist your brush roll it through the colour, draw it through the colour, and what it does, it kind of makes the point go very pointy again. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's learning how to control the brush, that's half of the... It is. Well, it's yeah. using one brush to do many things. Yeah. Because yeah. you could muck about with loads of different brushes, but if you know Absolutely. how to control the brush... Yeah. Yeah, you really maximise the... Um, the cost of and that means if it. you go out painting, you don't need to make... <laughs> yeah. The brush oh. Can you watch oh, it right there in the studio? <gasps> to, ah! Ah, look, oh, ah, I've oh, got an injury. <laughs> do we, oh, we have, we've just had people <laughs> do the first aid course. You're going to be fine. <laughs> We're listening, <laughs> listening. We've got over it. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, it. I was going to say that the brush is called the worker, you know, so it's like yeah. it's, it's one you use more than any, you know. But basically, right at the base then, uh, the picture, just put some, what you could almost describe to be grasses, but obviously it's the foliage for the flowers, you know. And do they uh, yeah. go down from the daff to the bottom or up from the bottom to the daff? You can do a bit of each, mm. really. Whatever you turns you on, I suppose, really. If but you're it kind of works both ways. If it's a stalk and if you're going up, it's a, a leaf. That sounds good does to that me. Sound good? It does, yeah, yeah. Boom. I'm impressed with that one, I really am. Well so, um, yeah. So basically, I'm doing sort of like upward flicks for more leaves and grasses, let's say. Yeah. And then some downward ones for doing the uh, stems. Got you. They can be a bit more precise, can't they? But it just kind of attaches it all together, we do that, don't yeah. it? It makes, yeah, it, it does. makes a nice little, a nice little watercolour there for you. And uh, as many grasses or stems. Should I have a shark? Go on. <laughs> just do a baby too shark. Late. Or a submarine. <laughs> A little, a little pointy little thing could be a dolphin. Oh, it could be the meteor. Didn't there wasn't that the one? Meteor. <laughs> a shark. Jaws. Go. Again, if you put more concentration of these grasses and stems in the corners, it makes yeah. a better composition. Yeah. All right. Meteor. Beautiful. Um, almost there. There's just <laughs> one thing. What I'd like. There you go. Is that the shark? Yeah. 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 Shark yep. coming it through. It looks like. It could be like a low flying it, bird. It looks Where's like your a shark. It looks like well, a duck that's taken oh, off. Okay, hold on. Submerged. Oh, I've got it. I've got the fin. Oh, you know, Penny. What's the ones that dive under and then just stay on there for ages? Dolphins or um, no. what, whale? The flyer birds. The flyer birds. Oh, um, cormorant. Cormorant? Yes, that might be it. They go under for ages. Maybe it's that just hitting the yeah. water. No, it's just. Or maybe shark. one of the ducks that's got his bum stuck in the air. Oh, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? I am actually going to, make, I'm going to make it into a low flying bird. There you go. No, look at that. 
And so she did. Boom. Very impressive. Very, it's very impressive. Nice. Um, you know something what's optional, folks, watching at home, uh, just to say to you, if you want to just to put a little bit of uh, light in your water, a bit of sparkle, totally optional. If you've got lying around your craft box a nice sharp knife, okay, um, we can make use of this just to scrape off. And does your paper have to be dry for this? Your paper's dry and you do horizontal scrapes. And we've got a couple of knives there for Penny and Jenny to use as well. And it just puts a bit of light in your water, which would be wonderful on yours actually. But use the point of it and just kind of scrape along the horizon and it really what? makes it look as though it's... Which way around is that? Yeah, it's with the point of it. It's just like using the pen. You need to do it that way, it's a, bit, a little bit sharper. Okay, you? so you and do it just along there. Yeah, just kind of scrape. Yeah. You'll find one way works better than the other. No, not like that way. There you go. Almost like you're doing like a highlight, you know, a bit of a sparkle, as it were. Pop them out a lot. That makes a big difference putting the light on, you know, yeah, it does. does. That's so effective. I have left some paper white. How's your scraping? How's it doing? The thing is that the paper is so thick it can take this. That's the thing, isn't it? Again, well, it's, it's nice on the open because it really brightens the water, don't it? It does. That's enough. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Fair. It can do as many as these as you like. You can lower it down. Good clouds. You know, to finish off, you need to pop your mounts on. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've got one there. We have another one somewhere, I believe, hanging around. Is it handing? Or it isn't. Here's another one. There's oh, another thank one. Thank you. There you go. Well, I'm quite glad that I've got this actually because I've. It brightens I was a bit. Really, it. that yes, that Let's really gives a look. Yeah. As well. it looks like it's sparkling. Yeah. Beautiful. Really There's nice. There's a bit of sun over the horizon. Oh, that's fabulous. But you know these things. We call these magic mounts in the trade. So if you pop those on, it really just so you got a picture, haven't you? tidies yeah. it up all of a sudden. It's fabulous, isn't it? Because yeah, it just draws the eye in. Yeah, lovely. Oh wow, they're yeah. so good. Absolutely stunning. They look so what good. What a difference! But both of them work just as well. I'm yeah. really thrilled. I'm really thrilled on your behalf. I love this low flying. I oh, do. Oh, I'm so chuffed about yes. my low flying that, chuff. That oh, is so chuff. <laughs> That it's is a such a good chuff. look. It's yeah. a heavy it's chuff. It's it is a very heavy <laughs> chuff. It's almost, <laughs> it's almost in the water because it's that heavy. It's, it's over, just skimming, it's isn't over, it? <laughs> it's overdone it everything because it's just after Christmas and New Year. <laughs> skimming the water, trying to take yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. Um, they're it's fabulous, away. fabulous. That's really, really well done. Um, yeah, Look fabulous. At that. Just so really, good. really impressive. I did what I was told. <laughs> I've yeah. never done it before. Who, who knew that it could yeah. work? Have a wonder, who knew? Have a um, everybody, thank you so much. And obviously to everybody at home, uh, thank you for watching. It's been really good fun. I'm sure you've enjoyed it at home. Um, we really have. Obviously, um, it's for Marie Curie. It is all for charity. It's a fantastic, fantastic charity. I mean, this is the thing, isn't it, ladies? What a brilliant way yeah. of raising money. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that is a fibre well spent. Isn't it? Really it really is it's the best fibers worth of enjoyment and g giving money to a great cause i mean yeah, uh, yeah I, could only have more been, kits could only have been improved by doing yoga whilst doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next class <laughs> by matthew um ladies thank you ever so much <laughs> we are absolutely thrilled you could make it today matthew as ever you thank are you. amazing you. you're so yeah. inspirational um of course watch out for matthew's <laughs> Uh, watch out for Matthew's classes here on Achanda, but more importantly, support Marie Curie, become a supporter. Um, obviously, if you want to give your time, you can do that as well. If you want to get that kit, please make sure uh, you check your baskets out. You can watch it all back on achanda.com forward slash daffodil. Thank you ever so much, team. Thank it's you. you. so amazing. And thank you, everyone at home. Bye-bye.